Hi friends, welcome to Series 3 Tech News. Today we will see what is return in Java. Actually, return is a keyword used to terminate or return the execution from a method. So here I have written one method. In this below method, void is the return type. So the just beside the method name, whatever we are writing here, it is a return type. It means it will not return anything. Void means nothing. So this method one will not return anything. So when method is not returning anything, we no need to specify return statement. Once the execution cursor will come and execute first statement, second statement, third statement, fourth statement, fifth statement, sixth statement, and it automatically return execution point from method one. So there is another way. If you observe this method, the return type is int. So this particular method two should return some integer value. In this place of int, we can mention any data type. If we mention any data type, this particular method is responsible to return some value of that particular data type. Here you can observe the method two execution will start from here, executes first statement, second statement, third statement, fourth statement, fifth statement, sixth statement, and finally it is returning ten value, which is of data type int. So if some string I am returning, so it it will give a compilation error that the return type is integer and you are not providing a string. So we should provide the same data type value, something like this. And there is another case. If you consider in below method, boolean is the return type. You can see. And in single method, we can have multiple return statements. So you, here you can see in this block of code, we have two return statements. One returns true, one returns false. When this particular condition is true, it is going to return true. If this condition is false, it is going to return false. It means in single method, we can have multiple return based on the requirement. If we have a requirement where we need to return multiple places in single method, we can even write that as well. And uh, I'm just written one main method to execute those particular methods. Just execute it. Here you can see method one statement one executed two, three, four, five, six and it automatically return back when method 2 is called method 2 is executing and it is just returning 10 but we are not printing the 10 anywhere but it has been executed and returned so we if we wanted to use that integer value in our main method we can also declare int a equal to something like that that means whatever method 2 is returning we will be storing that value in a and we will be printing that value Let's print that as well. And similarly, method three also returning Boolean, assigning to some Boolean value, and then I am printing it. Let's execute now. Here you can see method one executed till six statements. Method two executed till six statements. Method two is returned A value, and I am printing that A value here. And we called method three, and method three returned Boolean value, and we are printing Boolean value. So there is another case I wanted to explain you. I just commented out because it will give a compilation error. So now you see in below method boolean is the return type and it has a unreachable statement. That means unreachable statement is something that cannot be executable at any point of time. Let's say method 4 we have with integer parameter. If we pass integer parameter greater than 10 then this condition will be true and it will be returning true here. It will not execute any of this block. Let's say if we are passing a value as 2, 2 is greater than 10, it is false. So it will come to the else block and it is going to return a false value. But it cannot be executable. This is ln. This is unreachable statement. That is why it is giving error saying delete this unreachable statement. This is the suggestion that the IntelliJ is giving that it cannot be executable. Please delete it. Hope you understood. So this is all about return statement if any concerns please make a comment and thanks for watching